Hey everybody. I had a request to do a sketchbook tour, so I thought I would start with my first sketchbook from April through June of 2019. As you can see, I like to decorate my cover of my sketchbook. For this one, I Mod Podge paper towel and tissue paper, along with some poetry that I cut and repurposed from an old book. Um, this poem says, when the blazing sun is gone, I must go down to the seas again, to the vagrant gypsy life, to the gull's way and the whale's way, to the traveler in the dark, thank you for your tiny spark but the beautiful far ones call to me. So those are lines from other people's poems. Thank you, other people. I cut them out and made them into a poem of my own. Sometimes I like to put like ticket stubs and things from places that I've gone or events that happen. Um, I went to an Electric Six concert at the aquarium in Fargo, so I put the ticket stub in the front cover. The first page is from April 26th and I was getting ready to teach a sketchbook class for the Art Center in Jamestown, so I went across the street to the Arts Park and I completed this sketch. This is of Fred's Bar and the Office Bar in Jamestown from the Arts Park. And then when I taught the class on April 27th, I did another sketch in the park, um, looking in the opposite direction at Jerry's Furniture and Corner Bar. And then this was one of my students who took the class. Um, I got this sketchbook at Walmart, it's like $5, and I, I like it. I glue two pages together so they're double thickness, but it is starting to fall apart, not the best brand. Um, I moved on to a different type of sketchbook after this. On this day, I was watching my friend level, crown, and polish the frets on his guitar. It's kind of a cool experience. And then I went to Garrison, North Dakota. I was doing a teaching residency at White Shield School, so I did some sketching on Main Street Garrison of their walleye mascot in their old theater. They had some pretty cool old buildings in Garrison. And this is probably my favorite sketch in the entire sketchbook, the yay old malt shop Main Street Garrison. It's a really nice sketch. Let me know if you think I should make postcards of this one. So then of course I had to go inside the malt shop and enjoy tasty hamburger. And then this one is also Main Street Garrison. I really like old signs, so I had to draw the bar sign and the hometown tavern and the people outside obeying the smoking laws. And then the White Shield School, it was a brand new school. Really stormy week. The weather was not nice that week, May 1st. Um, this is coming into town uh, about a block from my hotel in Garrison. Railroad tracks. I also like to paint trains. Um, on the drive home, there's a coal plant right along the highway, so I had to take a photo and do the sketch from photo. Um, I just love the contrast of the clouds in the sky versus the clouds of smoke coming out of the coal plant, and then this man-made industrial structure balanced by the North Dakota greenery and the animals grazing in the hills near Underwood, North Dakota. Um, these are my arts after school kids at the Art Center. And then open mic night at the Elks Club. You'll see quite a few open mic sketches. Um, my friends Darren, Rocky, and Grant. This was before I was playing with them. My how far we've come. Oh, uh, this is the St. James Basilica, recognizable cathedral here in Jamestown. I decided to do extreme cropping of just the two spires and the Virgin Mary statue. And then, um, is that, yeah, more music. Uh, this was the last day of school, May 17th. Um, John Wayne at Johnny B's. And then about a week later, this is just looking out my window, um, night sky in Jamestown, watching the people go back and forth. It's kind of funny flipping through these because you just remember things about those days, even if it isn't something that you included in the sketch. 
Um, on this one, I went back to my hometown. My brother and I took my van back. We decided to keep this one black and white. Very simple. And then this is back in Jamestown. Um, the trees in full bloom. It's like it was May 28th. The sketchbook comes with this little bookmark. There's really no reason why that page is marked. It just is. Um, and then this is a building that's on the way to the grocery store. May 28th again. I sat along the sidewalk and drew this. And then I had an art show at Post Pilgrim Gallery in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And Post Pilgrim shares the same building where the white wall sessions are recorded. And so I did a sketch of the white wall sessions while we were waiting for that show to start. And then later that night at my friend Jen's house, waiting for the pizza, another night sketch outside, beautiful night. And back here at the art center, I taught a summer camp and this was the still life that we worked from because I think it was raining that day or maybe it was just extremely hot. Um, and then this is across the street at the arts park, looking at the building, what's left from the building that burned down. And I was using my friend Alan's palette, um, watercolor, no, pastel dreams was his palette, June 5th. Some of my kids at the arts camp, again, I decided to just leave this one black and white. I think it's a nice rest for our eyes when not every single page has color. I let my friend Alan, um, a middle school student who was taking the class, draw this sketch in my sketchbook. He took over my sketchbook for about a half a day. He likes making portraits. Um, and then this was another sketch that Alan made. It was during the Thursday night entertainment at Arts Park, the week of our watercolor camp. And I made him give my sketchbook back so that I could draw the band that was playing. It was the Gina Powers Band, June 6th, 2019. And then I went to Grand Forks, North Dakota for an art festival. And I kept going by this strange house that just seemed to be lots of pieces stacked together. So I wanted to do a painting of that. June 8th, it was raining, I painted in my van. Um, then I went to Bismarck, North Dakota. I had a few professional development classes through the North Dakota Council on the Arts. So I, the classes were held at the Heritage Center and during our lunch break, I went and sketched dinosaur bones all three days that I was there. Um, more dinosaur bones. Um, and this was another part of the Heritage Center. It was like 1950s Cold War memorabilia. Um, it says, Ancient Propaganda Machine teaches about fallout shelter in quintessential 1950s American male TV voice. This poster <laughs> um, caused a bit of a controversy. It was for visual thinking strategies class. We each had to pick something and, and talk about it. And my observation was that, um, that it was propaganda. And I, I don't think too many people really wanted to hear that point of view. So anyway, I wanted to commemorate that in my sketchbook. Beat back the Hun with Liberty Bonds. Um, more dinosaurs. Lobby of the Heritage Center. June 19th. Um, this is the only one in the book that is just from my imagination. Not looking at anything around me, not commemorating my day in any way. Um, it's just a like my favorite place at the ocean. I think I was probably California dreaming by then. Um, in the next sketchbook, I take off for the ocean by page three. And then the last page of this one, um, more music, Thursday nights at Johnny B's. There's live entertainment when we're not in a pandemic. So um, I usually head up there at least a couple times a month and catch the tunes. So that is my first ever sketchbook. Thank you for tuning in. I will be posting more sketchbook tours in the coming weeks. Cheers.